Hello and welcome. So in this session, I am going to discuss about how do we draw isometric sketches. So first of all, let us just try to understand what do we mean by an isometric sketch. So the main goal of isometric drawing is to draw three dimensional shapes on a special marked paper which we call as isometric sheet. Now what is an isometric sheet? Well, an isometric sheet is a special sheet that divides the paper into small equilateral triangles uh, and uh, you, 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 you can find multiple types of isometric sheets but prominent amongst the sheets that are available you will have either dots on a sheet which are like which which kind of divide the whole paper region to triangular shape or you would have lines in triangular shapes so uh, I mean you will just quickly have a look at the sheet when we go and uh, do the example so basically that's what an isometric uh, sheet is now the key importance of having an isometric sketch is in those scenarios in which the measurements of the sketch agree with the measurements of the solid and when I say that measurements of sketch agreeing with measurement of solid, what do we mean by that? This thing will become more clearer when we take the example. So let's start and draw an isometric sketch using the isometric paper. So in this example, I'm going to show you how do we draw an isometric drawing for a cuboid. So for that, we will need to have the dimensions of the cuboid. So let us assume that the dimensions of the cuboid are 4 cross 3 cross 3, that is length is 4. It could be any units, breadth is 3 and height is also 3. Now how do we draw an isometric drawing for this cuboid? So first, we need to remember that we are going to this uh, do this on a isometric paper. So the first step is to draw a rectangle to show the front face. Now if you just have a look at this here, so the, the length and into breadth multiplied by height. So the length will be of 4 units length and uh, 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 or we can say length into height. We can just make the length and height first. So let's say that uh, we take the height to be of 3 units. Okay. So this is an isometric sheet this is a portion of an isometric sheet and as you can see that these are small triangular regions into which this is divided so here is what we have done we have first drawn a rectangle to show the front face which is 4 by 3 so if you just see I have taken this dot and from here we have gone to 1 2 3 and 4 units So this becomes the length and then I, I now need to draw have the height so I come down 3 1 2 and 3 right so now I just make this portion so I draw a rectangle which is 4 units by 3 units so this becomes the front face now comes the most interesting part uh, which is different as compared to the oblique drawing which we discussed in a previous lecture so in the second step we draw four parallel segments of length 3 starting from each four corners of the rectangle. Now this becomes your breadth. We have already drawn a length of 4, a height of 3 and now breadth has to be of 3 as well. So this is what we have done. So what? now you see this is the advantage of an isometric sheet. So what we are doing here now from here we are traveling along these lines into the specified unit so here we have we need to have a breadth of 3 so here if you see 1 2 3 from this corner I have dropped off a line 3 units similarly from this corner we have dropped off a line which goes till 3 units similarly for this corner shown here and then for the fourth corner so we have drawn these four parallel segments of length 3 starting each from these four corners of the rectangle Having done that, now it seems quite obvious, the third step is to connect the matching corners with the appropriate line segments. So as you can see that I have joined these line segments here. And if you have a close look at this, if you see right, the length of this 
side here is 4 the height of this is 3 right so the front face and the back face they are of the same size but an interesting thing is that even this right this dimension here the bread dimension is also of the same size as that of the mentioned cuboid so you can say this is 4 units 3 units here in the height direction and 3 units in the breadth direction so this is why we say that an isometric drawing corresponds to the exact measurements as of that of a real solid so this is how you can draw so just let let, let me quickly re revise what we have done first we draw the front face then we draw the parallel segments right parallel segments and then we join the the, the remaining corners with appropriate line segments that's what we do and that's the way we get a isometric drawing for the cuboid now having said that let us quickly compare the oblique versus the isometric sketches oblique versus the isometric sketches so the first difference that we can recollect is that generally ice oblique sketch is drawn on a squared paper I mean a paper that has squares, squares and that is just because of ease of uh, a drawing but an isometric sketch is definitely drawn on an isometric paper and uh, we just saw what sort of paper is an isometric paper and the key and the most important difference between oblique and isometric sketches is that the measurements on uh, oblique sketches are not exactly proportional to the original size of the solid this is the main difference right whereas in uh, the isometric sketches the measurements are exactly proportional to the original size of the solid this is what we saw in our previous example when I showed you that how do we draw a cuboid of uh, dimensions 4 by 3 by 3 and we saw that all the dimensions are exactly proportional to the original size so with this we complete our discussion on the isometric sketches now we, we discuss quickly how do we actually visualize solid shapes in few scenarios where you can see just some sides of the combined solid shapes that is for example you are looking at a particular shape and you cannot see it completely but you still need to visualize the hidden parts sometimes you may see some a little bit of hidden part you need to make out what is there so in order to do that let us do a, take an example okay and what we have to do is we have to guess how many numbers of cubes are there in the arrangements below when we see in the direction of the arrow so here are the three examples that we have let's take this example how do we guess the number of cubes here so let us start by seeing whatever is obvious so we know that in the front i can see three so def definitely three cubes are there and you also see the small edge protruding here right so this is one more cube so in this arrangement we have four four cubes present here how about this this is also pretty straightforward we have one two three four and this one is 5 which we can see from here so this one has 5 cubes how about this this is a bit a bit tricky and you may have to think a little bit intelligently so okay this surely makes sense 1 2 3 4 5 6 now could there be a cube here just back of it well if it were you would have seen something protruding out of it but it isn't so we take it as six cubes in this arrangement okay so one two three four five six so uh, there are a few more examples that you can try out in this way in fact it would be very interesting for you to just take a stack of cubes and see how i mean you see it from a particular direction and see 